What's up guys, Simon here with Off My Frame Photography. Today we are going to dive into a product that I have used all of my photography career. And this product is actually on the cheap side and actually ends up giving me the results that I need for my photo business. So you guys stick around and let's see what it's about. This video is specifically about this little guy, the 1.8 Canon EF mounted um, lens. So this is not really a superior high quality lens. However, it does give you the sharpness of a lens that is of high quality. Now, do I say that this is professional grade? Well, no, not really. Close, but just not there. However, it is part of the prime lens family. And with it being a 1.8, it gives you a very small aperture, which allows you to get that out of focus and blurry background. Now, it doesn't only do that, it allows more light to enter into your lens. With a 1.8 aperture, that allows you to get that nice depth of field, but also get as much light to your sensor as possible. Now, why do I say it's very important to get that light to your sensor? Well, most actual kit lenses are between four by five, four to 4.5, somewhere in there as far as the aperture. So that's not really allowing that much light into your sensor. So yes, it's good for basic photography if you're taking like a landscape or just taking a few photos for fun. You know, that is pretty normal. So, however, what this is, is this prime lens, it allows you to open your aperture to 1.8. So, that 1.8 aperture is super crisp and it gives you that blurry background that every photographer and pretty much your clients are looking for. Now, do I say that this lens is in, on the cheap side? Yeah. It's actually very affordable, and I highly recommend anybody who's starting in photography and currently in the business to have one of these. They are well known by their name as the Nifty 50. Now, there are many versions of this Nifty 50. There are the actual prime lens versions, the new um, RF versions, which are super, super high quality glass, and you know, ones you definitely have to protect, keep safe, near, and make sure you have at least between one to $2,000 inside of your bank account. Now, for these little lenses, you can usually find them on eBay for no more than like $125, almost to brand new. Well, almost used to brand new, forgot that in there. However, finding these at a cheap cost is easy. You're not gonna have to hunt around, you're not gonna have to price shop. These are super affordable and within any new photographer's range. So I highly recommend getting one of these at the beginning of your business. That way you can grow and start experimenting as a photographer and starting to hone your craft. And even for those that are in the field longer and you know just really can't afford those high quality lenses, the Nifty 50 really just gives you that advantage to make crisp and clear photos. And I'm gonna throw a couple photos here up on the screen so you guys can see. Um, this was taken with, this is one of my models here. Almost every single one of these photos that I have taken have been with the Nifty 50, giving me that crisp and blurry background. Now note, some of these were taken with an off-camera flash. Now the off-camera flash does amazing, which I will actually post a video about that here soon. So be on the lookout for that one. Now, coming back to the Nifty 50, there is many types of accessories that you can get for this specific one. Now, I do have um, an ND filter um, that I love to put on most of my lenses. Um, I don't have one specifically for my kit lens just because I never use it. It never leaves my bag. Um, but I do for my more prime lenses and, of course, 
for my little nifty 50. So this ND filter attaches to the front of my lens, which gives me that little bit of dark contrast that I'll need in some areas where I'm overly or high exposed. Also, it gives you the ability to, well, protect your lens. So, you know, it may not be the most expensive lens, but it can be very expensive when you need it. So, Always best case scenario, keep your ND filter on the front of your lens. And listen, don't listen to the guys on YouTube that say ND filters ruin your camera lens. They're not great for you. They're, they're terrible. They're not. ND filters really help protect your camera and do not degrade the value of your lens. However, so there is a disclaimer in there. I got this ND filter lens from Best Buy. So they have higher quality ND filters in which this one is a platinum filter, 49 millimeter MC slash CPL. Now to ask me what this MC and all the extra is, I have no idea. But the 49 mm is for what fits your lens around the ring of the lens. So you'll know exactly what size to get and Best Buy has them. They're not very expensive, but they're high quality glass that can go in front of your camera with no issue. But my disclaimer was, is that you have to get ND filters from somewhere that is trusted and has high quality ones. Going on eBay and buying a $10 set that comes with 15 to 20 different ND filters, that's not high quality. You're going to get a lot of bad ND filters that are not truly meant for use. They should only be used to protect your lens and taken off when you need to take photos. So coming back to the Nifty 50, is it worth it in 2023? Yes, it is. This lens is amazing. I trust it. It is 100% my go-to lens when I'm taking portrait photography, um, any kind of sporting events that are up close stuff. I love it. It's amazing. Would I recommend possibly saving an extra $300 to get a 1.4? Yes, but if you're starting the game, a 1.8 will truly suit you in any situation. So I highly recommend this lens. Um, also, lens hood. Don't forget about that. The lens hood can fit onto here with your ND filter. So remember that you can have both of them so pretty much what I'm trying to say is you can have your pie and your cake at the same time with this one. So lens hood, great. Now this one is a just eBay knockoff that I got. So not Canon brand. None of these are Canon brand except for the lens. So I'll link them in the below description of where you can find them. Super cheap, not expensive accessories to add on to your M50. It's great, it's amazing, it works, it's awesome. So I highly recommend this lens. It is a dear sweet baby to me. So um, if you're really looking to get in the game and upgrade your lenses, I would highly recommend starting here. I know everyone wants to run for the biggest, hugest lens they could find and be like, this is the perfect one. Yeah, that's good. But starting out small can always be the most beneficial thing. So remember, a nifty 50 in the back of your bag has always got you covered. So Simon here with Off My Frame Photography. If you have any questions or anything, please leave a comment down below. I'll try and answer them and uh, hope to see you on the next one. So thank you guys for watching.